everyone and welcome back to my channel for Christmas craft and decor series 2020 number two. I'm calling this the fuzzy wuzzy Christmas tree. Sometimes you never know when you gotta be inspired or where could you be to be inspired. I was actually at a home hardware store called Menards here in Kansas City when I saw this and I'm hopefully I will be able to attach the picture that I had my husband take where I got this idea from. Um, what you will need for this project, of course, are these foam cones. And I got these at Amazon. I will link this below. You get 12 pieces in this pack. I don't remember prices, but I will link everything below. Then you will need these little, um, they're called mini assortment size natural. They're for ornaments, but I'm actually using this for the project. Let me show you. They're just a thin piece of wood. Now you can actually go and cut out your own little pieces of branches. You'll just have to measure the dimension of the bottom of the tree. Um, then you will need some glitter. I have a uh, spray glitter, but it's not as um, noticeable. And then you will need to buy some of this fuzzy wuzzy yarn. It's called Go For Full thick and quick. I actually got this at Walmart and I think it was like $5.96 for the whole shebang. Um, of course you're going to need your glue gun. I tried to use this E6000 and it burns right through the foam so I will not recommend you using E6000 for this project. And also when you use this glue make sure you are ventilation because this glue is pretty important. Some glue sticks, your scissors, and now I'm going to show you my fuzzy wuzzy Christmas tree. Here it is. Isn't that stinking cute? I hope you can see it glittering. I have glitter all over it. So I made a few of them. These are great to tuck on a shelf or to put with some decorations if you have a village or you can use different color yarn. However, I wanted to use my white and my glitter. Um, are these sellable at a craft fair? Absolutely. What I would probably do is either do it in a set of two or a set of three, three, three trees. Okay, so basically what you do is you just see how um, this is the wood. And I kind of was super happy that out of the pack, I think I fit like eight of them that fit my trees. Um, like I said, you can actually cut uh, your own branches, but just make sure that dimensions are, you can make them bigger if you want to. If you want to, you can actually do a whole entire scene with little animals. I mean, that is all entirely up to you. How far you take this project. So you're just going to take your glue gun, low heat, and I'm just giving a good portion of my glue to this. And then you just glue it to the bottom and I just let it dry. Um, then what I do is super simple. Um, I think I'm using one glue sticks per tree right now and I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm not cutting my yarn beforehand. What I do is I just start with my, maybe I'll be able to do it a little bit here. Some of them as you can tell they'll give you a little uh, lip right there because it's, um, the wood is a little bit bigger but that's perfectly fine. So you just dab a little bit of glue and I'm actually going to turn my camera so you can see it better. What I did is I went ahead and put wax paper at the bottom so that way if I have any glue or anything fall on my counter I can pick it up. So as you can see right here I'm just adding a line of glue and I'm taking my yarn and I just start from the beginning. And then I just use my glue gun and I'm giving a general portion of glue on my cone. You just want to hold it there. Be careful not to burn your fingers because this is fabric and sometimes the heat will go through the fabric. Okay, right there and I knew I was going to need a glue stick. Okay, and then you just keep on going around. And then you're going to come to the first level right there. Just hold it there for a second. 
to fluff it up I blow on it <laughs> okay so then you want to start your second roundabout here oops of course um, start your second right above the first fur as you can see that right there and then I just go around right there and then I just go around and round and round See how easy that is? Super cute, right? How cute would this be to place at each person's setting if we have gatherings for Christmas or any time for that matter? I think it would be super cute. And I think these would sell fairly well at a, at a craft fair. And I'm just, like I said, I just blow on the fur to fluff it up a little bit. And then just get that fabric on there any which way you can. And I'm just gonna go around here with some more glue. And then sometimes I'll just hold it for a few minutes to make sure that it's attaching to itself right there. Don't be afraid to use that glue because you don't want it to fall apart on you. Okay, so pull some more yarn out. How cute are these? Just keep on going, work your magic all the way to the top. If you see glue strings, don't be afraid, they'll come right off. Oops, I keep dropping it. Okay. And just keep going round and round. And then I'll show you how I finish my topper. So I just had a big amount of glue here at the top. And I roll it as tight as I can and then I just leave a little bit. Then you just cut it to make your top. You're just gonna have, there's no measurement here, you're just gonna have to eyeball it yourself. And then you just, um, oh, that was hot. <laughs> And you just kind of like twist it around. This fur is so, it's like a full fur and it's so forgiving. There it goes. And there is your fuzzy wuzzy Christmas tree. So now what I want to do is I want to add some glitter to this. So I'm going to move my stuff here. I usually do this over the trash can, but you t I have this spray glitter. I think you can buy these at Walmart. And I'm just spraying on it. Oops, not stopping. And then I'm going to take my glitter, which is this um, iridescent glitter. You can buy this at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. And I am gener generously adding glitter to these and look at that a fuzzy wuzzy Christmas tree that you can either sell at craft fair you can give it um, to your friends and family for a cute little holiday gift you can uh, put this in place settings for the holidays you can actually, um, but I would probably bundle them up or sell them one at a time. I think a couple of dollars for a craft fair would be cute, but I would probably wrap it up and make it nice because you don't want everybody to touch the fabric.
So fuzzy wuzzy Christmas trees. How fun are those to make? I made a few of them and I really truly enjoy them. I think they're gonna be so cute on a shell and they're just glistering with glitter and make sure that you take all of your glue stems off. I just think that these are super cute and super fun to make and just being inspired by going to a home improvement store in their Christmas department. Um, I hope that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Please come back and see me tomorrow as we are continuing Christmas Craft and Decor 2020 series with me, Gail, and bring it to life. I just remember that I bring things home and I bring it with love and I bring it to life each and every day. And with this channel, you never know what you're going to get. Please come and see me again real soon. <laughs>